Hey! What? Just took random damage. Oh, hey there, mask. Another incident. 20th March 1983, 15 hours, Observation Area 2. As I was taking my downtime in the observation area, Lieutenant Agnew entered the room and he told and told me he was looking for a sled which he had previously used to travel from his room to the bridge. I asked him if he had been drinking and he replied that he had not. His behavior seemed otherwise to confirm he was sober. He then left the room and when asked about the event later, 1500 hours in the recreation room, said he had no recollection. A bout of unexplained illness which seems currently to be affecting the crew, detailed in daily log 237, may be a contributing factor. Consequences. I wish only to note that this incident is a minor concern. Lieutenant Agnew's behavior is otherwise beyond a reproach. I will continue to monitor him and offer support as necessary. Hmm. Nine. I still miss the old template. Alright, so let's see what the digging behind here is. That's not it. Um, man. Hi. Oh, three point one four. We got one other thing to take care of. Just an empty room. Ah. Now I see. It's supposed to be a simulation ish room. This is Captain Lucy Zhao recording an informal log on the 22nd of March, 1983. This is a personal record, not an official document. As soon as our non-essential systems have been reinstalled, I will formally detail the events of... of the past few days. My current concern, aside from the difficulties with our computers, is for the health of my crew. It seems we are all suffering from an unexplained illness of some sort. The symptoms are migraines, mild hallucinations, insomnia, muscle spasms. Solomon is investigating in more detail, although I worry that his behavior as a professional is... has been compromised by his recent emotional problems. Johns is bearing up slightly better. He is busying himself with repairs to the ship's systems. I hope for our consoles to be online again soon. He is a good worker, regardless of... Yes. He is a good worker. You hesitated there. I hope and trust that all will be well in the near future. We will set a course for Earth as soon as we are able. You hesitated there. You were going to say something, but you stopped. I thought there was some, something supposed to be back there. <laughs> Not quite sure where those things came from. Ow. Shut the fuck up. All right, medical bay. Michael Agnew, and I am a science officer aboard the... My name is Solomon Michael... Fuck off! Something. My name is Solomon Agnew, and I am a crew... He can't remember. A science officer on the Xanadu! I am... 
36 years and then fuck off stop talking ooh I was hearing sounds another the story So nothing really in the medical bay, other than those circuit malfunctions. So how does one take out the coolant though? Aha. Cryogenic pods now functional in the med bay. Okay. Oh wait, the audio log. Captain Lucy Zhao, 24th March. The symptoms are worsening. I now feel they now include heart palpitations, auditory hallucinations, bouts of delirium, inexplicable inexplicable losses of motor control, and to speak informally, I feel I am losing my mind. Simon is not coping well with the situation, and John's I had thought John's was more trustworthy, but it, I am not certain anymore that he can be trusted at all. Since we discussed the matter appropriate for a of the sort, he has been distant. I do not feel the quarantine measures will be enough. I worry that he is somehow responsible for the ship's... the problems with the ship's systems. Oh, you don't say. This is not a formal accusation. I merely... I have no one to talk to. Aha! So that's where that was supposed to go. Is there two missing on this side? There is. So does that mean we now have navigation controls? At least from what it seems like, we have some slight form of navigation. But at the same time, we don't. Wait. Hold on. I tried 3.14, but it didn't work. What if I do 3141? Aha! The tingling. I have always loved the stars. I have always loved to sit and read in this room. Hey! My books, my thoughts. It's not a solid snake reference. I, ever oh. I love my nephews. Got all the guns. To be human, to live and die, not to I shot him Snake, you're done for. Get out, Snake. You're done for. It is not enough. I will try to reach the bridge. If I cannot make it past the robots, then I will leave the ship and hope I take it with me. I must clench my mind like a fist, even to say these words. It hems me in. A dome of madness. I don't have much time. If you are listening to this, then I have failed, and it will be up to you to finish it. If there is any sign that it is still here, then you must do so. It... it's not a virus. It's not anything like that. It's too beautiful. A wonder too great to be allowed. It hangs in the center, dreaming. Only a star will end it. 
I've left the coordinates everywhere I could, tried to veil my intentions, but it will wipe them wherever it can. It will not even permit me to say them. I have not told the half of what I have seen. So it sounds like we're supposed to end whatever's going on. Which is obvious, but... But then the question still comes up... What to do?